before we get started with sharks, Amanda, can you tell us a little bit about why you think sign language is important? I've been studying ASL for about a year and I'm continuing learning it, the language, and I think it's really important that we use this so we can reach a broader range of people to communicate with. First off, we're gonna teach you the sign for water. So the water is the W hand, so you keep your three fingers up and you kind of tap it on your chin like this. Like that? Mm -hmm. Cool. And then if you wanna say ocean, it's similar. So you're gonna do water to your chin and then mimic waves with your hands. And that would be ocean. And this is one of my favorites. We're gonna learn shark. So there's two signs for shark. And I'll show you the first one. The first one is you put your hand and you keep your fingers together and you put it on your forehead kind of like a shark fin. And then you can also sign it um, like this. So keep this hand flat with your fingers together and you put this hand kind of like Spock, if you know what that is, mm. and you keep that one apart and you just kind of put your hand in between your fingers and move it forward. Shark. So you sign characteristics with two hands. Your left hand is gonna be faced in front of you with your palm facing your body. And you're gonna use your other hand like a pointer finger and you're gonna point to all your other fingers. And your fingers are different points of the list. So like one, two, three, four, five. And you're just gesturing to the list. So there's not actually a sign for cartilage, but it's the same stuff that's found in your noses and ears. So I'm gonna teach you guys a sign for nose and ears. Um, it's pretty simple. You're gonna point to your nose, and that's the sign for nose. And then point to your ears, and that's the sign for ears. And then the sign for skeleton, you're gonna put your, it's a two-handed sign again. Um, you're gonna put your two fingers up and scrunch them. Scrunch mm -hmm. them like that. And then turn your palms so they're facing your body, cross your arms, and kind of tap your wrists together. So we established that they have five to seven gills. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to sign five, six, and seven. So five um, is kind of how you would expect. You're gonna put your hand up, like you're high-fiving somebody. Boom, My high five. Boom, so that's five. And then for six, you're gonna put your thumb and your pinky together. And that's the sign for six. And then if you do your thumb and your ring finger, that's the sign for seven. So they have five to seven gills. And the sign for gills is another two-handed sign. So if you'll put your two hands up and keep your fingers together this time, and you're gonna put them on your neck and kind of flap them. And those would be gills. So these sharks have five to seven gills. They have something called a histolic jaw. And what that means is their top jaw uh, is not fused to their skull like ours as humans. Because if you notice, you can move your bottom jaw like every which way. Try it, like side to side, up and down. <laughs> but your, your top jaw stays in place. That's because it's fused to the skull. But sharks is not, so it is a histolic jaw. Also, their jaws have multiple rows of teeth. You know the sign for teeth? You're gonna use your pointer finger and show your teeth and your gesture to those teeth your teeth. Dermal means skin and denticles means teeth and these skin teeth cover the shark's entire body. So can you show us the sign for skin and teeth? Mm -hmm. So the sign for skin is you're gonna hold your arm out and use your right hand to pinch your skin. Skin and then as we talked about earlier teeth is like this. So the sign for body you're gonna use two hands fingers together palms facing the body, and you're gonna go, bye. Bye. As the shark is building up this oil and storing it in, this, in their liver, they're able to swim up closer to the surface of the ocean. And when they break down the oil in their liver, they're able to dive down deeper towards the bottom of the ocean to catch some food. So can you show us the sign for liver? So there's not really a sign for liver, kind of like um, cartilage. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna finger spell it. And so finger spelling is when you use your hand as the alphabet and you're gonna spell out the word. So I'm gonna teach you L, I, V, E, and R to spell out liver. So L looks like this. Your thumb is out and your pointer finger is up. L. I, you keep your pinky finger up. All the other fingers are down. V, it's like a peace sign. Mm -hmm. E, 
you're gonna keep your top fingers scrunched, your thumb scrunched, but kind of show your palm. And that's gonna be your E. And then R is like you're crossing your fingers, like you really want something to happen. So fingers crossed, so that's liver. So certain species of sharks, they lay eggs. Do you know the sign for eggs? You're gonna put your two fingers up like peace signs, but this time you're gonna put them together. They're squished together. And then again, palms facing you. And you're gonna put them touching each other, kind of like that, and then act like you're breaking an egg and pull them apart. All right, so those are our six shark characteristics. Hopefully you all learned something. Thank you for watching our video. Bye.